Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. It's Saturday, Saturday. Oh, we've got such a brilliant show. Sally Stevens! Oh, those of you that have met Sally, oh, you'll be as excited as we are to have her here. Those of you that haven't, you are in for a treat. You really are. She's here all weekend as well with me today and John tomorrow. You've got John Cole Morgan with you tomorrow and Monday. Uh, so, uh, loads and loads and loads going on at the moment. Behind the scenes, I was saying to Sally, we are like swans here, just all just swimming along gracefully on screen and behind the scenes everything is going crazy so at the moment we've got a new website being built uh, there's constant meetings with suppliers oh the supplier that brought in that lovely cake yesterday have, have you had any cake yet no so laura thought it was a chocolate cake and then she i said no it wasn't a chocolate cake. it's a victoria sponge so she can now have it because she's given it chocolate for lent so she can have it but it was delicious so we're having meetings with lots of suppliers um, and getting you some amazing products and amazing prices as well along with it so those of you that are brand new to uh, sewing street welcome to this amazing community it isn't just a shopping channel it isn't just um, a demonstration channel we like to share tips and inspiration we want to have of course we want your input as well we are a brand new channel now you might know a lot of our faces from sewing quarter of course which we were all so sad when it came to an end in December. And luckily, Steve Bennett, who is um, the founder of Gempora, swept us under his wing because he has got so much passion for sustainability and, um, you know, lots of... He's been he's travelling uh, in India and found some amazing ocean cotton and eco-friendly, really eco-friendly, gorgeous cottons. So we're really excited about that. There's a lot going on behind the scenes at the moment. Uh, we're also getting a new studio built. At the moment, we're in a temporary studio... Uh, so you might hear Joe and Laura, who are in the gallery, as they're literally there, uh, doing the brilliant, brilliant deals for us. But yeah, we want to hear from you. So any input, if there's any products that you struggle to get hold of, if there's any demonstrations that you want to see, if you are an amazing, uh, if you are, you know, you're a sewer and you want to come on the show, please get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you. So there are a couple of ways of getting in touch. Our Facebook page is a brilliant community, as I say. So if you go onto Facebook, type in Sewing Street TV, you'll be able to find uh, all that's going on, lots of chat from the, the guest designers, Debbie Shaw's uh, Sewing Surgery, which happens at first Monday of every month as well. You can send in all of your T any uh, anything that you want to, to find out how to do for uh, for Debbie. If you've got any messages for Sally Stevens, send them in to that web uh, to the the Facebook page, or of course, Laura will be checking also the uh, the Sewing Street fan page, which again share all of your hints, your tips, your projects. It's a lovely community on there. If uh, you've already noticed, I know a lot of people, eagle eyes, will check the website in the morning. Before we go live, everything is loaded onto our website. At the moment, we're taking part of Jewelry Maker's uh, website as we're having a new flashy, all jazz hands, singing and dancing website made. Uh, at the moment, we are on a, a landing page of Jewelry Maker. You'll still be able to watch us live, still be able to sign up for the newsletter so that Haley, our marketing manager, can keep you in the loop and also all the products. So from today's show, you've already spotted the Michael Miller fabric, which I know has been so popular, again, because of the, the price is crazy for the quality of the fabric. It's brilliant. Uh, and also... What else was I going to tell you? One PMP all day long. No matter how many times you check out, it's only one PMP all day long. The fabric that I'm talking about is this. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the first thing that Sally said to me actually was, was the quality of this is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Is it upside down? No. No, it's not Joe. It is. It is a directional print, you're right. There you go. That looks better, doesn't it? That's why he gets paid the big bucks. <laughs> this is lovely, isn't it? I absolutely adore these colours. So fresh, perfect for spring. Look at the price. It's £5.99 and a half metre. Now, for anybody that is new to us, as I say, we're only just over three weeks old, starting from scratch, which is so exciting. But, of course, with all the know-how and the connections that we made over the last few years, it means that... We're able to offer you designer fabric like Michael Miller. This is quilting weight cotton. It's so beautifully soft. That is what half a metre looks like. So if you want to buy more than this, absolutely go for it. It's going to be cut off the bolt to whatever size you want. So if you want a metre, add two units to your order. It's just £5.99 and a half metre with one PMP all day. And as I say, it will come joined up. So even though I'm saying quilting cotton, 
dressmakers, bag makers. How beautiful would that look? I'm thinking um, Nina Lee has got beautiful pyjama patterns. How gorgeous would these be in Nina Lee's pyjama, uh, in a pyjama pattern or uh, a lovely sort of kimono style gown? It's gorgeous fabric. And even if you were to buy half a meter of this, I think it's gonna go a really long way and you're, as you're gonna be able to mix it in with lots of other colorways. You can go with the greens in there, the blues, the lovely pinks. Very springy. I think this sort of time of year, I always like to add a few new cushions into the living room or something, just to brighten it all up. The world's waking up, isn't it? Victoria Carrington was telling me she saw all the, is it, what's the plural of crocuses? Crocuses. Croci, no, it's not, is it? I know cactus is cacti, but I don't think crocus is croci. We'll go with it, croci. Um, okay, and all the daffodils as well look beautiful, beautiful. So that's the, the pink colourway. We've also got it in blue. They've called it mint, which, you know what, that's perfect actually. That is the right, that is correct. <laughs> it is mint, it's a mint blue. It's a really lovely, like a spear minty blue. Oh, I love that. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. I would struggle to cut this up into small pieces, actually, because I think it is such a beautiful, big, bold print. Michael Miller uh, is obviously very, very good at um, putting together colours, thinking about different scales of print. So the the uh, two I'm going to call blender fabrics. They're not really blender fabrics, but they, they will go perfectly with this. And you'll see in a moment when we look at what Sally's um, put together for us, how well these colours and the patterns work perfectly together. Half a metre, £5.99. Now, those of you that have been watching for, you know, if you've known us for the last few years, then Michael Miller fabric, I thought was always around 7 99 half metre, if not a bit more. Um, I think 5 99 for the quality of the cotton you're getting is silly, really, really low, a bit of an introductory price. Uh, I don't know whether this was uh, Debbie Shaw's doing. Debbie Shaw's been in, uh, involved in a lot of our buying process, helping starting uh, out the channel, and I've got a feeling that, yeah, it was. Sally's telling me it was. <laughs> this is uh, Debbie Shaw. It's beautiful, and what a great price. Another £5.99, a half metre. Uh, as I say, the two blender, I say very loosely blender fabrics, because they, again, would look beautiful for dressmakers, just a full um, bag making. Let's go for the pink first. But equally, if you are thinking quilting, let me open it up again so you can see that that is what half a metre looks like. It's 112 wide, 112 wide, and it's just so pretty. It's almost like a, a raspberry sort of cherry pink. It's not pink, 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 pink. It's quite a grown-up pink. I always find Michael Miller fabrics are very um, whimsical, aren't they? Quite often you see lots of like the Peter Pan range and the, uh, didn't it do sort of like Alice in Wonderland style fabrics? Um, but this is, I do love that very oriental feel to it. We've also got it in blue. That's five pound ninety nine half meter. Uh, I'm just going to quickly flash through these as we do want to get Sally on as we've got loads of demos to do. Uh, we are going to tackle a problem that I know a lot of people, this, I'm, I'm not surprised actually, this has been asked in the, the Sewing Street surgery, why seams? So we're gonna talk through why seams with Sally in a moment. The blue is gorgeous as well. What color have they called this? It's like peacock. Blue. That's fine. It's like a peacock blue. Tealy blue. Five pounds, 99, a half meter. Um, right, so Laura's just doing a quick price check because we are a bit concerned that we've got a bit low on this. She's like, everywhere else, it is not £5.99. I'm not surprised, Laura. I'm really not surprised. That is Debbie Shaw's doing. She knows, she's in the know, isn't she? She's in the loop. £5.99. She knows the right people to get us these brilliant prices. Make the most of that whilst it's available. There's um, some of these fabrics, by the way, as they have been on air before, that are extremely limited. Um, I think... We've got more quantity on these fabrics, but especially the ones with the lanterns on, they are really limited. So if you are thinking for home furnishings, maybe blinds or something would look amazing. Dressmakers, if you are wanting more than half a metre, 
I would check out on that one as soon as you can. So Sally is working from, she had a choice of books and she chose this one. I'm going to ask her why in a moment. Modern quilting. Uh, if you love traditional patchwork, you want to try something a bit different, this book might be for you. If you are brand new equally, have a go with this one. Um, this is really, really gorgeous. It's, you've got 25 projects of gorgeous contemporary cool quilts. It's got a great section at the start. Again, I'll go through this in more depth with Sally. It's just £10.99. I like the names of them all. Good Vibrations, Ombre. Oh, I love that one. That is really nice, isn't it? And I think actually, do you know what? This is going to work really well with your stash. Bright colours, even solid fabrics. It's gonna look gorgeous. That one's nice as well. Cat on cameras, she's eager to get on air. She's literally like, oh yeah, I like this one. Can I do this one? Can I show you this one? She's very involved today. Oh, hang on, is this got Y seams as well? So when you learn how to do Y seams, um, the home decor section on chapter three, it looks like you've got a few projects that, that will have Y seams. And I know a lot of people try to avoid them. Don't avoid them, we can conquer them today. Templates at the back, I think you've got full size templates again, which you'll just need to trace out. Don't wanna be cutting into our book, do we? Just 10 pounds, 99 for uh, your modern quilting book. Price per project, again, is pence brilliant price and as we were talking yesterday um with Delphine, it's actually really easy to sort of mix and match them when you've got the templates you can sort of pick uh, a section of a quilt that you like and make it into a cushion uh so anyway this is how you get in touch with us if you want to send in any messages for sally shall we get her on sally stevens is here with us we're very excited if you do want to uh send in any messages for her laura is our producer today and she's going to keep an eye on the messages so i'll be able to read them out on air sewing street tv is the uh the facebook page Oh, we didn't think we'd be here, did we? Hello, Sally. Hello. Lovely to How see you How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, it's so good to see you. It really, really is. You're here it's all nice weekend, aren't you? I am, yes, today and tomorrow. Well, at the moment, we're sort of camping out, aren't we, in this little... Uh, yes. We are in a, a slightly smaller <laughs> studio. It's a bit cosy, especially for them there. Laura and Joe are very... Very cosy. But we found the kitchen. We found so the we kitchen. Can make the tea. We found the tea bags just about <laughs> hunting high low on a weekend. It's um, it's a lovely house though here, isn't it? I know you've it been is. here to do some jewelry maker. Yes, workshops. I have been here before jewelry maker, but it is a lovely setting, it beautiful is. house. Plenty of parking. Yes. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So, how are you anyway? Yeah, very well, thank you. Had a bit of a bad do over Christmas with a with a bad chest infection and oh. things, but um, all better now. Good, 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 good. And good, it wasn't good. the no, no, <laughs> all, no. You're all good. Brilliant. That's good to hear. Now, uh, something that I know a lot of people are quite. I've heard this a lot actually since I started in the sewing world. Why seams? Avoid them. Avoid why seams if you can. You're gonna teach us I not to so. avoid them. Yes, absolutely. The uh, fabric is fabric gorgeous. Fabric is absolutely it? gorgeous. I'll bring over the things that I've got ready so oh. you can see. They, they look amazing uh, with Sally's projects. I think they do work so well together. So that's just an example of the project I'm going to be showing you. Nice. So where is the Y seam in I've here? I've that the wrong way up now. There we go. So, yeah, I don't know whether we can do an yeah. overhead, can we? Yeah. So the pieces, this is a block. I'll bring you one of those over. Right, so this is from, this is from the, the Modern Quilting Book, isn't it? This it is, is page 74? 73, 73. I think it is. Yep. So, but again, like I was saying about the, um, you can take, you don't need to necessarily make them all into quilts. Like that would make a beautiful cushion front, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Beautiful. That comes about 20 inches square, which is a nice big sofa cushion or, or yeah. bedroom cushion. Um, and the pieces, there are only two shapes. And I'll bring those out to show you. So there is this shape. Right. Which is like, I don't even know what, what I don't that, even know what, what to call it's that. called. No. So there's a <laughs> two of those. The point yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two of those. Yeah. And then there are somewhere two triangles. Two triangles. And if I take that away so we can see a little bit more clearly, what we will be doing is joining these two pieces here, mm -hmm. creating what's called the Y seam. So it, it looks like a V in mm -hmm. this case, but they are known as a Y seam because if you imagine that's the Y shape. So we'll be putting 
one of these triangles at the top and mm -hmm. one at the bottom. You can use whichever colour combinations you want, but that's the way I've, I've done it. So these are the Y seams. Yeah. And it's awkward because when you're sewing straight seams together, you're not changing direction. Right. You're just all going in one direction. So when we sew these two seams together, th this seam together, we're just doing a straight line. Yeah. So how do you get this point in there? So the, 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 the way to do it, very clearly explained. Oh, book. this book is brilliant because actually, yeah. even if you are a beginner, the reason that you pick this is because it does really take you it through does. step by step, yeah. doesn't it? It does. And the, the first part of the book, which is all of these pages, is a brilliant explanation of how to do right from the beginning about choosing your, your feet for your machine, fabrics for quilting with, um, how to cut, what yeah. to use. See, I mean, you were saying this well is like a book in itself, it isn't it? It is, it is. It's very well explained, very clear, but it's not baby talk. Right. You know, it does, it, and, and so I found that even as a fairly experienced quilter, there's still things to learn. Ah, oh, that's good to know. Mm. So, right, yes, brilliant for beginners, absolutely brilliant. But please, if you are a quilty, I think there's still going to be great hints and tips along the way as well. There are, there are. How to use templates. See, that part, normally, in a book, is summarised into one paragraph, one page. Or, one page. Yeah, yeah. Piecing, section on piecing again. There's uh, how to use your templates. Sorry, I'm, I'm not very good at flicking this this way. There you go, <laughs> quilting. Normally you get a, a small sort of section on quilting that mixes in with binding as well. Echo quilting, still going on. You've also got... Um, there's the binding. The binding, brilliant. So that's all at the start of the book, which is brilliant to have a good read through before you actually get going. Not just quilts, accessories, gifts, home decor. Oh yes, quite a, quite a wide variety. 25 projects, yeah. all different sizes. The advantage of most of them is that you can use quite big prints oh. and you're not cutting them into too much of a tiny piece. That was my concern when I saw that we had this fabric picked out and I knew that we'd be doing patchwork with you. I was thinking, this for me, is one I wouldn't really want to cut up into small pieces, yep. but you still get to see a lot of the print with the larger... You do, with the larger blocks. With the larger blocks. Yeah. Yeah. And I suppose it means also that it, it comes together quite quickly. It comes together very quickly. Um, yeah, which for people who are, are new getting into quilting, you want to see results. You want, yes, you do. And it's nice to have something that you can finish even in a, in a day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Laura's just going to be running the graphics for the different fabrics, by the way, whilst we're whilst we're getting on with it. So please do check underneath us on the web uh, and make the most of those because the five pound ninety nine half meter is really really low. Uh, so I mean, um, it even says at the start of this book, I've always had a fear of doing Y seam. So you're not alone. But yeah, we even can the author of the book, that's yeah. why he designed this project right. to get over his own fear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. The worst that can happen if you make a mess of one of them, unpick it and do it again. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not. It's not difficult. No. So picking your fabrics and uh, cutting out your pieces because these are, yep. as we found out from Joe, thank you very much, that they are directional prints, aren't they? They are indeed. Even these um, floral ones ah. are slightly directional. But as you can see from these little pieces, you can't really tell. So yeah. you don't need to worry too much about that okay. at all. Okay. So Do I just bear it in mind though when you cut it. Yes, and if I go to my templates, we'll talk about the templates first because they are important and I wanted to make a particular point about templates. So are they in the back of the book, Sally? They're at the back of the book. Yeah. Um, the to size? To size, yes, you don't need to enlarge them. Oh, fabulous. Which is, which is good. So they're all there. Oh yeah, there you go. You found them quicker than me. I don't know how easily you can see those on the TV, but they're all there and they're printed in slightly different colours so you can tell which is which and they've got letters on that uh, apply to the pattern. And the seam allowance included? Seam allowance is included and I'm going to talk to you about that as well. Right. So this, for example, is the template for this project. There mm -hmm. are two. There's this shape, we don't know what to call it, and then there's the triangle. So because they're overlapping, you do want You do it. need to. What I did was um, copy this or you could trace it. And then you can either, which I tend to do, glue it onto a piece of card. Yeah. And use that to draw around. Or 
if you have some, and I don't think we have any here yet, but it is available quite widely, you can use template plastic. Brilliant. The advantage of template plastic in this particular project is that when you're laying it on the fabric, you can fussy cut if you want to. Think about, because that is lovely. You wouldn't want to go straight through the lantern, or maybe you want to focus on a certain flower, so yes. it's nice to be able to see what you And you may on. want the lantern right in the middle, mm. but I felt it was just slightly nicer to have them just a little yeah. bit offset because you get more movement in the actual quilt. Good there. idea, good idea. So that's useful to have. And then you can keep them. And no, you can keep them and use them. Just keep them and use yeah, them again. that's right. Now, these templates are including the seam allowance. And they've also got markings on them, which I'll talk about those in a second as well. Right. But I wanted to just briefly talk about when you've got a template like this, if you're not photocopying it and you're tracing it, just bear this in mind. If you trace it, like I have here, onto another piece of paper, I've used quite a thick pen. Mm -hmm. When you measure the template in the book, you'll come up with a certain measurement. When you use a thick pen, where do you cut that out? Do you cut it out on the outside of that black line or the inside of that black line? Yeah. And in this case, it's almost a quarter of an inch difference. Gosh, right. Which is quite a lot. So, Especially when you're trying to do Y seams. Absolutely. You absolutely. want that to be quite accurate. So I've just done a little scribble there. I don't know if you can see that. That is just done with a thin yeah. pen or pencil. Mm -hmm. and, th and then cut out on that line. If you do a big thick one like this, double check with your pattern, you need to cut that out inside that big dark line. Right, okay. Because okay? I've had a lot of people say, oh, I've done it to the template and it doesn't, it's still too big. And do you know what, that is a really, really good point to make, isn't it? Because I, I, I would think that, and actually, you're right, that is, you say nearly sort of quarter of an inch anyway, yeah. just the thickness yes. of the pen once you've cut it. Because you often want to get this stage done really, really quickly. You mm -hmm. just grab whatever pen you've got, but do think about that because it can make a Do you difference. then transfer, like you say, it's got little almost notches? Yes, it has. It? Which, can you see good. on the, the template, it's got obviously your quarter of an inch seam allowance and then it's also got two little notches. And mark them A and B, uh, transfer like you would with dressmaking, all of the... the if it's got any notes or any, uh, you know, any uh, notches, transfer them onto your template. Absolutely, it's a bit like sewing dressmaking yeah. pattern for that. And the reason for those is that these these dots here are a starting and stitching, so starting and stopping for the stitching right. point. Okay. And I'll demonstrate that. But you do need to mark those on, and you do need to mark them onto the your own fabric. So just punch a hole. I've just got like a stiletto yeah. there. Punch a hole. Put that on your fabric, on the back of your fabric, and mark just with a pencil. Fabric marker pen. Brilliant. Oh yeah, fabric marker pen. Da, 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 da. We have one of those. At the moment, we are building up. Um, you know, all of our stock. We're building up our stash. Yes. We've all got a stash, haven't we? <laughs> uh, and of course, fabric marking tools. We will have a plethora of them. Uh, at the moment, we are being very, very selective, and we're asking you which ones you like to use. This one is your water erasable pen. So uh, just with a damp cloth, just give it a little test and check that you're happy with how it erases. But this one will sort of wipe off or wash out when you wash it. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Just to do little notches or, or equally to do, I'm thinking eyes on, on doll making or toy making. I think these are gonna be really useful. Yeah, I use marker pens a lot. So um, the other thing I was going to say was, um, when you're cutting out these shapes, when you're cutting out the templates, card or template plastic, just use ordinary household type scissors, yeah. sharp ones, yeah. but ordinary household ones. Don't use your fabric scissors. No, you will For blunder. fabric scissors, we could use those. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Seamless, seamless. Oh, have you seen the price on these? No. Nope. Okay. I tried to... This is what I love because I know that I show these the majority of the time that I'm here, but there's a lot of people who haven't seen them. Are you ready, Sally? Go on. Fiskar scissors, oh. £9.99. I know, I know. <laughs> it is, by the way, extremely limited, and that's why I said, oh, please, can we dear. show you them today? I'm not here for two days, and I think by Tuesday these probably will have gone. It is a special introductory price, and um, it is something that... Again, no matter what sort of uh, method you do, whatever, uh, if you're a dressmaker, if you're a quilter, if you're a bag maker, we all need a good pair of scissors, don't yeah, we? Yeah, and these are a nice long length as well, which is good for doing these larger pieces. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, and a, and a guard as well. And the guard. Mm, very nice. Just £9.99. Fancy scissors. So even at that price point, you could have these as your universal scissors that you well, use. Well, you could you. actually, yes, because... Um, if you've I, already got your dressmaking scissors and you think, right, I've got my fabric scissors. Yes, yeah, brilliant. Because anything that is really sharp and good quality is going to do a better job, even if you are cutting card and template plastic. But yeah, I think that's a great idea. You can get two. There you go. <laughs> £9.99. Thank you, Sally. That's all right. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've done the templates. We've marked the back of the fabric with our little... Yeah. Little, um, little marks. That one doesn't show very well. I'll make that a bit darker. I'll move these out of the way so that we... Oh, sorry. Disappearing. Don't worry. Bit, you're very tidy. Here. We are. <laughs> and I know that you're a very organised coach as well, aren't you? So this is a bit chaotic to have everything here, there and everywhere. But <laughs> I try to be. I try to be. But I tend to spread out. So at home or in my studio, I'm yeah. using a lot more space. <laughs> anyway, let's see how we go. OK. So first thing to do is to join these two shapes here. Right. You see those? Okay. Yeah. And we're joining on this seam here. We place them right sides together as per normal. Line them up and we can pin those. We've got some pins. Oh, well, can I open We're allowed to open these apparently, yes. Thank you. Your clover pins. Right, so when these are quilting pins, they're fine pins, what does that, do, do you know what the difference, again there's a lot of different pins that we've seen like applique pins and long pins, Yeah. can I open these? I like pins that are quite long, Okay. but very slender and ideally with a, um, <laughs> with a, a coloured end, Okay. a head, so that you can see them more easily when you're a, when putting you're them in, mm -hmm. but also to take them out. Yeah. Oh, we're nearly there. Oh gosh, they do always, they always. <laughs> Talk about pack, yourselves. Pack Here we go. <laughs> oh, so they've got really nice bright um, yes. top of the green and the orange so you can choose. And, and they, they are long. They're, they're long. Really nice and long pins. A hundred of your fine quilting pins from Clover, £7.99 in a nice little case. Brilliant. And Clover is excellent quality. I, I do use these pins myself. Um, so pin, just pin these two pieces together. Come back. You can pin more than this, you can take more time, especially if you're a beginner. Make sure that everything's nice and level. And then we are going to go to the machine, which has a zipper foot on it, which is a novelty. <laughs> the little manager. <laughs> Ideally, for a project like this, you're looking for a quarter inch foot. Right, okay, we have okay. got one of those. We there may change. well be one. Let's have a look. That one lifts up, that's it. Or, mm, that doesn't look like a quarter manage. inch either. Is manage. it up in here? Oh, is that in the... Yeah, that'll um, do. That will do. A wide quarter inch We can foot. do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have our foot on. Whether or not you have a quarter inch foot on, always make sure to measure your quarter inch with a bit of scrap fabric. Do you think it changes machine to machine then? or It, it does change machine to machine and it can change depending on the needle you've got in as well. Because oh. again, we're talking quite small amounts, yeah. but it can make a difference. It's a good, that is a really good point because I was, when I was starting, I didn't use to lug my sewing machine to my classes, so I used to borrow theirs at class. Yes. And by the end, I was like, this isn't, it's why not am working. I not getting it yeah. right? Yeah. But maybe it was to do with the two different machines. Yes. So you're best to physically measure it, even if you've got a quarter of an inch. Absolutely, foot. so I'm just using a couple of bit, scrap bits here. So if I pop that down, find the foot pedal. It's all very cozy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just do a sample bit of sewing. This is probably going to be hard to see if you're a viewer, but we'll try our best. Okay. I can maybe mark it with the pencil, in fact. So this is the line I've stitched. Just to make it a little bit darker, I don't know if that helps at all. Yeah. So if we measure that, we have got one, two, just over three eighths of an inch, mm -hmm. even though I've got the quarter inch foot on. Right. So what I need to do is move the needle across to the right, 
should be that one. I think it used to be a code, didn't it? I mean, yeah, there you go. So let's move the needle across to the right. So if we carry on sewing now and test it again. There's the line there. I'm just trying to colour over it so that you can <laughs> see the difference. It's not very accurate, but just so you can see the difference. Hopefully you can already see yeah, there's that's a difference. Such a difference. And then that measuring it is the quarter, quarter of an inch. inch. Perfect. Okay. I've never seen anybody do that before, so that's really oh, right. good to know okay. how to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's always well worth doing. It takes a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. but then you're, you're away. So we're now happy with our quarter inch, and we've got these two marks on yeah. the fabric here. So we put the needle down on the first mark. So we're not starting at the edge, the raw edge. Okay. We're starting quarter of an inch in. That's where those marks are. They're a quarter of an inch in. Now you can either do a locking stitch, um, which a lot of machines have, so that the needle goes up and down in the yeah. same place to lock. You can do a forward and back stitch, but don't go back towards past the raw edge. The, yeah, past the dot. And then we sew straight on to the second dot, and then we go backwards. I've slightly overgone that, but I can unpick that tiny bit. So we will have, when we take the pins out, Two pieces joined together, yeah. but not right to the end. Right, you've literally got that little half, yeah. quarter of an inch gap. So it's just, it's just a little sort of leftover yeah. raw edge part there. Okay. We can now press that, if we can find our bits. Yeah, bits ideally here. at home, don't even though you've got a pressing mat, don't do it on your cutting mat. We're a bit sparse yes. type, but... I love the slots. Oh, it's so amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I love slots. Okay, so we'll... Actually, that's not too bad. I suppose it's really protected there, isn't it? It's it not is, going to damage yes. your, your mat. So with, with um, the seam, you can press it to one side, but I think if you're a, a, a beginner and this is the first go you're having at Y seams, I would press the seam open. Right. Why okay. is that, Sally? Because it will be easier for you to see where to stitch to and you won't be stitching through a lot of bulk on one side and little on the other. Okay. Okay, it'll just make it a little bit easier for you. So you'll be working on one long side here and one long side here, and you'll be able to see where you're going. I do like having a seam pressed open as well. I think it reduces I've, the bulk. Yeah, I've got it? more and more into it because um, with the quality of threads and the quality of fabric these days you don't have to worry about it pulling yeah. apart and if you're quilting something you will be crossing that seam yeah. probably several times anyway so the um the the join which is traditionally the weaker point is is strong right okay yeah uh by the way that sloth cutting mat is 29.99 i love this and i think it's so handy if you're on the move going to workshops or going you know to to uh classes yeah. because you don't need you don't want to be waiting for the ironing board the communal ironing board and you've got your little station all set up haven't you yeah. pressing mat at the other side's got a cutting mat and it's yep. got slots on, yep, that's which right. is amazing. We tried that's to get right. the sloth fabric, and it's really, really hard to source, by the way. So it's really nice to be able to just have it on your little uh... I do have one of these boards, although it's got the different design yeah. on it. Um, and I take it to classes, and... Um, I suppose you can, can you pin on this as well? You can pin on this yeah. as well, yeah. Yeah, quite easily. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, so that works. They are nice for, for, cl for classes, aren't they? They're solid and sturdy, and um, they don't sort of bend and, and wobble right. or anything. Um, I have also got a little portable ironing board, yeah. but it tends to rock about a bit and okay. you're sort of up in the air and th this is nice and solid. I like to be able to have every station sort of set up. Wasn't yes. it you that told me that you used to purposely put your ironing downstairs yes. to get your steps in? Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> in on my, your watch. <laughs> yes, on my watch. In the sewing studio, I actually have the sewing machine in one place. The ironing board in another place, right, yeah. and I have a cutting board sometimes in a different place as well, <laughs> just to keep moving. Well, because the thing is, when you're kind of doing this for your living and you're yeah. sitting there for hours, you yeah. don't move. No, <laughs> <laughs> love that. Unless you want a cup of tea. We've had so many messages for you come in, by the oh, way. Oh, good. Loads of messages. Hi, Susan. Good morning. She said, "Thank goodness for Sally Stevens." Oh, thank you. Oh, it's just, just like watching old sewing quarter. She says, "Best." Birthday present to me. Happy birthday, yes, Susan. Yes, I know there are two ladies who've said that it's their birthday today, so I'm sorry I didn't write your names down to bring in here, but happy birthday oh, to both of you. Happy birthday. 
There's a lady called Dawn as well who's commented saying it's right, her birthday. Yes. So maybe it's Susan and Dawn. Yes. Happy birthday, happy Dawn, birthday. and happy birthday, Susan, as well. Ah, oh, that's nice. great. Have a great birthday. And a nice spring day, too. Yeah, it is nice today. Nice day to have your birthday. So I've pressed the seam as it was sewn, yeah. and that's called setting your seam. And that just helps to bed the stitches into the fabric okay. to get a nice crisp edge. Then we're going to open it out. Just open it out with your fingers, or you can use a pressing tool or anything like that you might yeah. have. One, one is, that, is that a pressing tool then? Well, you can use it for this. You can use ah, it. I've not seen Yes, it is actually. That's really good because we've got one, uh, quite a big, we haven't got a little mini iron at the moment. Yeah. So if you have got a big iron, then this will just assist so you don't need to get your fingers in the way of the iron. Yeah. But also, handy to have. So you, I'm thinking for overlockers as well. So yeah. you're not getting your fingers or anything anywhere near an overlocker. That's really handy. You can see they're used with a sewing machine, but it is um, clover sort of silicon. Still, still sort of, yeah, yeah, finger. This is perfect. Yeah, because it's got a pointy end at one end. Yeah. That you can use to help push your fabrics through or under. Oh. And it's got the slightly rubber angled at the other end for just slightly pressing or again for pushing it yeah. through and it's a nice long you can put your whole hand on it yeah that's really handy you know some uh, fabrics that you can't pin like a pu for example yes. where if it's you yes. don't want it to sort of be um moving around under the sewing machine you can literally just sort of guide it through using it that's really handy i've not seen one of these before and it's heat resistant it is heat resistant just 12 pounds 99 from clover so you know the quality brilliant so you can use that to Go press on, the seam just to put effectively finger press the seam open and you for, can for anybody that is new to this I mean we're only three weeks old I know that we sort of just presume that everybody's been you know watching us for years but um, the pressing is such an important part it is it? And through each stage sort of a theme I'm trying to do this weekend today and tomorrow um, tomorrow in particular, very much going from the right from the beginning okay. and not taking anything for granted. Yeah. But hopefully also um, a reminder or an update for people that are more experienced and would just like to say, oh, I've never quite got that right. Yeah. Why? Yeah. And hopefully to explain. Brilliant. So, so there we go. That is the seam sewn and pressed. Lovely. Okay. Rather nice butterfly shape, isn't it? Yeah. I do love these fabrics. That blue, the mint, by the way, is really popular. I just want to do a quick stock warning on the mint colour. Um, there are literally hardly any left. I think it's because of that price. It's £5.99 and a half metre. Michael Miller, mint, beautiful, lovely lanterns. Um, anywhere else, surely, surely, surely. In fact, actually, Laura's looked. She said this is supposed to be £7.99. Uh, you were nodding when you said, De did Debbie tell you that she managed to... It was Debbie that organised it, so, yeah. Um, I don't know how she, who from, or, yeah. but I can guess. But, um, yeah, and I, I wasn't sure when she sent it what it was going to be. A complete surprise when it arrived. And I was just amazed because I thought... The print being a larger one and the book being appropriate for larger prints, brilliant. Yeah, that's it. We, of course, you can rely on Debbie Shaw, can't you? She knows the stuff. This is gorgeous. And the price on it is brilliant because it is really beautiful it's quality very cotton. Soft. It's very soft. And I've, I often yeah, say nice this dressmakers. I well, I would definitely wear that because it is soft enough, both of them are. And it's got a nice sort of handle to it, nice drape to it. And look, it doesn't fray like mad. Right, that's really good. <laughs> Some do, and that's not a problem. You can still work with them. But I do like a fabric that doesn't yeah. doesn't fray too, too much. And when you are thinking about putting together blocks like these, you should sort of think about your different scales of print, shouldn't yes, you? Yes, yes. And the, in the book, I don't know whether we can go to, to look at the, mm -hmm. the book... So the quilt that he's shown here, that the author Michael Caputo has shown on here, is quite a lot of random fabrics. And he's cut them out from directional and non-directional. So I don't know whether you can get in close to here. You've got some, like, flamingos. Little flamingos. But oh. here, they're upside down. Oh, yeah. So you don't need to wear it. I suppose if you've got it on the wall. Yeah, exactly. So, but with mine, I've deliberately cut them out so they are all facing the same way. Yeah. So that's entirely up to you, but just give that a little bit of a thought. Good idea. Before you, you start. Um, particularly with these lanterns, mm -hmm. as you found when you first started showing the fabric, you weren't sure if it was upside yeah, down or not. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's not like having people's heads upside down. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just bear that in mind if you want to, to do it. And the 
quilt, going back to the quilt in the book, if you wanted to make this one with these four fabrics, mm -hmm. you would need two half metres of each of the mint and the pink, Okay. but only the one half metre of the florals. Right, so you need a metre of mint, a metre of pink, and then half a metre of the half florals. Half a metre of the other two. And how big is that quilt? It's not huge. Um, let me just double check. 44 and a half by 47, so that's a good lap size. Nice. Um, I suppose or, you could carry on, couldn't you? You could do you another could. row. Uh, yeah. So this is the, where, the block that we're doing is... Well, the, the one that I'm showing here on the desk that's, that's um, yeah. completed is those four. Four together. So there's one, those two, four. three, four, and then you've got two sort of halves yes. at the bottom. Yeah. Right. So you'll probably be able to get another row mm -hmm. with two lots of the half metres. Amazing. Thank you for that. Thank but you very much. So do bear in mind the directional side of things. So remember, if you want to do the quilt, a metre of this, a metre of the pink, and then half metre of each of two. those yeah. with you. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you for that, Sally. Yeah. Oops. Because these are smaller pieces, yeah. so you can get more. Okay. Although you've got the same number of blocks, you're not using such big pieces. So we've got a quarter inch seam sewn with the gap at the end. So now we're going to put on one of the... the now triangles. this triangle has got a point missing. Yeah, on the template, on the template it they, is. They do, they do that. Again, it's just to reduce a bit of bulk. Okay. So yeah, I've slightly exaggerated it there, but yes, it is curved. And also he's tapered off the ends oh, of the yeah, triangles. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference with this particular quilt, but if people do it on the template, there's usually a good reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've not a mic. Um, so do 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 follow it. It's it's you know they have thought it through, they have tried it out, they have learned the lessons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to sew these on, we now have this triangle to sew on here, and we need to match the points there. And then somehow we've got to get that mm -hmm. side out, which is the Y seam thing. So my dot has disappeared. I don't know where my pencil's gone. Can we oh, imagine? Go. Can we pretend this? Oh, <laughs> so there's my dot. I'm trying to make them a bit darker for the for the screen. So the best way to sew this is from the dot out. Right. Okay. For two reasons. One, you can make sure that dot is definitely above the seam here, mm -hmm. and you can pin that on to make sure, and I would do that by putting the pin through the dot and into the seam. So I'll put the, just put the pin through so you can see what I'm doing there. Through the dot and straight, so through, straight through the centre of the centre of the seam. And that would be a quarter of an inch down. And it's a quarter of an inch. So then just put another pin to hold that from flapping about. And I'll go back to another foot if I may. What foot are you putting on? I'm just putting any ordinary ordinary foot. Without the quarter of an well, inch the guard. Thing, you can do it with the quarter of an inch, but the thing is the quarter of an inch, if I'm sewing this way, I've got my quarter inch thing bumping Dragging. on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. So yes, you could do it the other way around, but I actually like to see the triangle on the top because that's the smaller piece and it's the one more likely to wiggle about. But just give that a go for yourself. If you're happy to use it, that's great. A lot of these feet already have the quarter inch marked on anyway. Yeah. We know because we've tested it that the needle is in the quarter inch position, so it, we, we, we know we're good to go. Okay. So. so again, are you putting your needle right on that dot? Right on that dot. And I'll just move the pin slightly so we don't... Because you don't really want to stitch onto your pins. So you can just drop your needle down, and if you take the pin out, then you know you're, you're yeah. on the dot. And I'm going to sew along. And we can sew right to the end. Forward and back or not? No. Well, I do if um, if you know you don't have to, but I do usually. But I'm. Being I suppose a bit, then that also is naughty. going to be going into another into another block, another block. Yeah. So it shouldn't. So that looked probably a little bit back to front there. 
you can, of course, use your quarter inch foot and sew from the point to here. But if you're a beginner, you'll probably find that your little points get chewed up. Get chewed up. Mm -hmm. Don't it's panic. Happened. <laughs> it happened to us all. It happens to us all. What I would do to help prevent that is get a, a, just a scrap of fabric. I usually do it double. Pop it under the needle. What do you call this? <laughs> a, a leader or an ender. Oh, okay. Because everyone has everyone different names. Everyone has different names, names yes. But was... a donkey and all sorts. I wonder whether you had... Well, that sounds cruel. <laughs> I think it was, uh, was it Emma and the Bradford who said it's called a donkey. I'm like, what? What are you on about a donkey? She just naturally just said it. Yeah, you use your donkey. And I was like, what? Yeah. The original leader reason, and follower. Leader and ender. That's leader and I, ender. Well, yes, or leader and follower. The reason I I got into using them and 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 call them leaders and enders really is because when we didn't have machines that could cut the thread mm -hmm. and you were pulling yards of thread off to cut it off, you were wasting a lot of thread. Right. And I'm really mean about that. <laughs> if you use leaders and enders, you sew just off the end of that yes. piece. You can then start sewing the next piece straight away. And when you cut it off, you don't waste any thread. Don't waste any thread and it won't chew up. So, it's, yeah, so if you haven't got a machine that cuts the thread, it's a really good way to save cotton. To Brilliant. Save Great tips. Yeah. Great tip. Because, you. you know, it's, it all costs money and you can be pulling off all well, the equivalent of about 12 inches. Yeah, absolutely. Every time, which is quite a bit. OK, so I'm going to press that as we've sewn it. So again, just setting the just seam. Just setting the seam. As I say, that makes the stitches bed into the fabric and whatever sort of patchwork you're doing, not, even, not just Y seams, you will then end up with a much crisper, mm. straighter edge there. This one, we don't need to press it open. It, we, it, it can be pressed to one side, but we can leave that for the moment. We are now having sewn. I'm flipping backwards and forwards, but we've sewn that on and we've stopped a quarter of an inch from the end where that okay. dot is. We now need to get this piece over onto this side. Right. Okay. So you can see it just goes. Yeah, you've made that look very easy. Yeah. Maybe we're overthinking this. That's, yes. Yeah. So that's joined those two together. You can see now with a pin, we've got a dot here. I can see why now you, you've got those dots to start and stop. Yes. That makes it so much easier. And the dot, if we put the pin through the dot, We'll go again through the seam. Comes again through the stitch part of the seam. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That is the hardest part done. Okay. I don't know why. So many of us are like, no, no, avoiding Y seams. If a pattern's got a Y seam, we'll all have a go at this now, can't we? Yeah, and it lies perfectly flat. Oh. So I'm just going to pin into the point there just to hold it. And we can either use the quarter inch foot or the other ordinary foot. On I think the most important again. part is getting your quarter of an inch. Yes. Accurate, isn't yes. it? Yes. And consistent, obviously. But um, if you've got the templates to, to make sure they're accurate and also your, uh, your quarter of an inch. So again, you've put your so needle, put needle straight, straight, into straight in. The... You yeah. can do a locking stitch or, in fact, what I tend to do, I'm a bit lazy, is I tend to just hold the fabric still yeah. while I'm hitting the yeah. pedal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit naughty, but. And off we go again. pin out as we come to it and the stiletto is really good for holding that that little pointy end that we've just sewn there yeah. because they, they can wander yeah they can curl or yeah, yeah move or just across. twist a little bit and you don't want to sew over your pins the, the the main problem with sewing over a pin is you might um, bend your pin you might even break it um, but you quite like to blunt your um, sewing machine yeah. needle as well well I've heard somebody who um, it the, the needle sort of snapped and went like this and you just don't want to get it no, off you don't, face, no, so. I, I hate broken needles. They, they happen because after a while the needle will just wear yeah, out. Yeah. And um, it often breaks where the eye is. But for some reason they often break quite high up as well. Right. And I'm not quite sure why that would be. But they, they will be getting hot. Yeah, yeah. They are going very fast. And if you are a bit tuggy or pushy with the fabric, you will be slightly bending yeah, yeah. them. So yeah, they, they take they take some strain. All right, so we've got just less than five minutes. I don't Ooh. know where this time has gone. <laughs> so, we need the iron again. So you're not pressing these open this time? Nope. I'm leaving the open seam as it is. Yeah. I haven't set these seams. I should do really, but as we're running out of a little bit of time. 
And then when you turn it over to the oh, other side. Nice. Oh, it's so satisfying, isn't it, seeing that point? I suppose if you're doing it with solid fabrics, you would notice that more, wouldn't you? Yes. So it's quite nice if you're trying out Y seams to, to do to it, use it with a pattern fabric. fabric. Yeah. And, you know, I'm doing this in a little bit of a hurry, obviously, on the TV, so I could probably make an even better job of it. But you can see it does lie flat. Yeah. It's not all bunched up. No. Um, and we do the second side in exactly the same way. And that, you know, you could be so proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'll be so proud the first time yeah. I get to absolutely conquer my fear of Y seams. That is brilliant. Uh, I, I just chopped the, the leader off. Do we have time to do that. the other, the other yes, one? We can. Let's yes. go for Let's it. Go for what it. was the message, sorry? Yeah? Dawn. Morning, Sally and Mrs. Morning. Carol. Morning. How wonderful. How wonderful to see the 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 ever well turned out Sally oh, Stevens. Okay. <laughs> Great show. I was looking, looking fabulous. so good at five o'clock this morning. <laughs> yes, you were. No, I saw you at seven. So or eight o'clock. Yes, yes. Eight o'clock. Oh, no, then. I got up at six o'clock this morning. Yeah. Not lying. too unearthly, <laughs> I know, compared to our old, <laughs> our old lives. Uh, Marion. Hello, Marion. Loving Sally Stevens. She oh, looks yeah. amazing. Oh, thank you. So do you. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> They're like, oh, you can see yeah, me. You can my see dressing, me my dressing gown. gown, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we ever do that with television, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually got my camera on my computer blocked off just in case I accidentally press the button and then she sees me. Well, I had a weird one the other day. My electric toothbrush stopped working, so I was looking at the warranty or guarantee and they said, oh, you can call. And they, I was on the phone to them and they said, if you just... Um, press accept, we can look at the camera on your phone to look at the toothbrush. I was like, what? Get off. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, that is so strange. And it's a really big company, but I thought, that is weird. Oh, that is strange. No. No, I don't like that. No. <laughs> okay. I'm doing the same thing. Oh, let's talk. Go on, on. no, it's fine. So I've put the pin through the dot again, straight into the seam. If it yep. joins onto the seam, you know you're right. Mm -hmm. Another pin to stop that flapping about. Back under the machine, just gently drop the needle, with, with the hand wheel, just drop the needle down into that little mark, then you can take your pin out, and sew your quarter inch seam. I've done that the back to front way again, but you could start from this end using the leader like okay. I did before. Then the, the then the magic, the magic. fold it back. And the, oh, because I, I went over the edge on that one, didn't I, a tiny bit. I'll just see if I can quickly oh, hit that. Yeah, I just went a bit too far. Because I haven't used this machine for a while and it goes a lot faster than my one at home. <laughs> so I'll just take a couple of stitches out there. Like I say, if something does go wrong, it can be fixed. That's it. So we fold over, and that lies flat again. Okay. So once again, you're going to sew from the inside to the end. Yeah, so again, it's that point there, that marked dot. Yeah. To the end. Quickly pin it. And drop. Drop the needle down into that dot. Throw this little tiny bit over there. Make either a locking stitch or yeah. what have you. A stitch to the end. We'll use the stiletto. So it's quite useful to use the little rubbery end there to hold those together as you can. Particularly as that's an open toed foot, you could. Oh, you yeah. don't have to do that. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> okay. Press that. You could press it the other way. It kind of, it's telling it kind you which of, way yes, it wants to go, doesn't it? Does. It does. <laughs> and because these are quite patterned fabrics, you don't have to worry too much about pressing to the dark side. Again, you could just have this. Use one of your big fabrics as a board around and have lovely cushions that way. Yep. Um, once you know how to do that block, I think that is going to be 
really sort of invaluable. It's a really useful yeah. block, yes. Yeah. And it, as I say, it does make use of the bigger print fabrics really, really well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. And, yeah, and um, it's something you can use in the centre of a quilt for a whole quilt, or you could use it as a border as well. So then when you've done four of those, uh, again, just sew the two together. Sew the two together. Sew them into We're pairs. We're probably too much out of time now, but I had got a spare one somewhere, spare block. I did have. It's a little bit awkward trying to remember what I've done with everything. <laughs> <laughs> here it is, here it is. I did an extra two blocks. So when you sew these together, and again, you can decide how you want to place them. You can put them so you've got a... Oh, so that can then make a secondary pattern, couldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. You could, if you wanted to, right. turn them around and make a completely different effect, yeah. but you'd then want to alternate them. Yeah. Or, or what I've done here, which is to put the, the um, blue and the pink together, and you can have it so that, as I've got it here, the pink ones are all in the same row, the blue ones are all in the same row, or you could do it, I think the other one was the other one, the other way around. Yep. So you could have blue, pink, blue, pink, alternate. blue, pink, blue, pink. Love still that. Have that alternate. So then it's all Lots about making options. the blocks and then have a play with them. Yeah. And when you put them together, yeah. face to face, pin together, quarter inch seam as usual. Bob's your block. Thank you so much. You're going to go back to basics as well tomorrow, aren't tomorrow, you? Tomorrow, yeah. So if yeah. you've got any questions that you want Sally to maybe answer, get them in for you on your own And we've Facebook, got a, a panel you? tomorrow, which oh, I'm going nice. to show you how to make that a little bit bigger. But if you are a, bit big, a complete beginner, it is... It is a really useful panel because it looks like it's already patchwork is already done. Fantastic, thank you. You're going to get on really well with John as well. Oh. Yes, I haven't met him yet, so I'm <gasps> oh, looking forward to that. Very exciting. It's so lovely to see him. You too. I, lo I love being on air with you. It's just like <laughs> being you. back in our living room, isn't it? With our it old is. slippers on. Yes. We love it. Uh, <laughs> just to remind you, uh, the Facebook page, if you want to send Sally any messages, then you can do it on this, the Facebook page, which is Sewing Street TV. Sewing Street TV, if you want to send her any messages. Um, if you want to, uh, of course, send in any questions for her, uh, her starter show tomorrow, then do make sure you make the most of that. Okay, so just very, very briefly, the fabrics that we use today are extremely, extremely popular. The Michael Miller in Mint, limited, limited, limited. If you want more than half a meter, just to remind you, you will need, if you want to make the full size quilt, which was like a sort of lap size quilt, you'll need a metre of this one. So that's two units. It's just £5.99, a half metre. Uh, you'll need a metre of the pink and then half a metre of, of the two vine fabrics. So that's the mint. We've got the pink available as well. They are so, they really are so soft. Uh, half a metre looks like that, 112 wide. I do love the larger scale print and you could do some great fussy cutting with this one, couldn't you? Maybe you've got, you know, the gyro cut from Crafty Products. You could do some really great fussy cutting with that one. £5.99, you know the quality. When it's got a Michael Miller name, you know the quality. Uh, Surely, normally, £7.99. It's £5.99 today, thanks to our lovely Debbie Shaw. Uh, we've also got the um, Wind Blossom in pink. Half a metre of this is all that you'll need if you want to make the quilt. And in fact, you might have some of the fabrics left over for your stash. That's so pretty, isn't it? I can imagine this on um, for bag makers as well. That's £5.99 and a half metre. And then the blue... They're all underneath us on the website, by the way. They are all underneath us on the website. At the moment, we're only live for one hour, but I think on Mondays are a two-hour special. Monday, I think, might be a two-hour special. And then very, very soon, we will be going live, two hours every single day. £5.99 for your Michael Miller. Beaut oh, that would be really nice for dressmaking. I'm thinking a nice blouse. £5.99. In fact, I could see our oh, brand-new John wearing a shirt like this. It's lovely, isn't it? Just 5 99 a half metre. Uh, and the book that it all came from was the Modern Quilting Book. Everything that you've seen from today, including the scissors, we've also got a rotary cutter on there, uh, the stiletto clover pointer that you saw, fabric marker pins, everything is underneath us on the web. The book is brilliant. I mean, we only sort of dived into one small part of it, uh, but you've got loads of projects, home decor projects, lots of great diff designs as well for just 10 
£8.99. Thank you so, so much for your company today. It's been amazing to have Sally with us. And don't forget, she is back with John tomorrow uh, at nine o'clock. And as I say, going right back to basics. So do make sure you join John and Sally tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. I will see you on Tuesday.